Hi, I'm Seamless, and in association with ADSR, I'm here to bring you workflow tips for using FL Studio 12. If you want to see more of these, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Anyway, today is going to be about a thing that I fully forgot about. Oh, yeah, data folders. So data folders are a method of controlling sample creation and like content creation for your song. So how you make a data folder is you go to the file settings. Is it file settings? It's somewhere in here. Project info, project info. Okay, it's, it's, it's in project because that's a smarter place. You come in here and it says data folder. There's an automatic creation. It basically just saves it to wherever, wherever the project is currently saved. If, but if you haven't saved your project yet and you don't have anywhere to save it, I'll ask you to create a folder. So you come in here and you, ma you make a make a folder. So it's like actually in projects. Let's make a new folder inside projects. Like bam, call it um, data folders. Yo. And they'll ask me to save the project in there. Let's do that. And then they'll ask me to, you know, call it something. And I'm going to call it data folders, yo. And now the song has a data folder. The purpose of a data folder is that when you do something like, say, a whole bunch of resampling, like I tend to do, um, and you come in here and you want to record a thing, a thing that you're doing. So I come in here and just be like, wee, and you have a sound. A function in Edison is to take and drag and drop. And then you have your thing. Now, this creates a file, and this creates a ridiculous name, and this purpose of creating this ridiculous name is just to ensure that it's not going to be the same as any other name, and um, without any information about you naming it, which you probably should anyway in Edison, just, you know, just to, to name stuff, good time. But when you do that and it saves it, it saves it to the data folder. This is super duper important because if you don't do that, it'll save it, like especially in Edison, it'll save it to the sliced beats folder. Especially, and also when you record anything inside, like, inside the... Uh, the playlist for say bouncing stuff out or freezing tracks all of those things will get put into recorded and i mean i don't have anything recorded in here but i do have a ton of sliced beats from me just not doing this and this is something that you should really do kind of at the beginning of every project so this means that you can just have rampant unstopped creativity because it is kind of a bother when you're in the middle of like you know dragging dropping and you really want to see the result and then you just have to name a file for it to be something and then you save the project. And then later we try to open a project. You have no idea where any of your files are because they're all inside slice beats. And they're all called this. So that's where having an actual project is handy because now, oh, look, there it is. Oh, look, there it is. Ah, it's there. And I have a, I have a folder and everything that ever happens in the song that is some kind of audio file generated by this project will go in that data folder. And you'll know where it is. And it'll always be associated for all time. So that's the tip. That's the workflow tip. And it'll help everything. And it'll be a good idea for people to be doing that kind of stuff. Anyway, if you have any questions about this, please let me know. Don't forget to hang around and subscribe to the ADSR channel, where you'll definitely find more of these things popping up every now and then. And as usual, have a nice day.